The capsule wardrobe movement continues to gain momentum. Fast fashion deserves criticism, and it's important to realize that our culture's obsession with ever-changing fashion is an artificial pursuit manufactured by those who benefit from it. The capsule wardrobe movement may be far from mainstream, but elevated by some high-profile personalities, more and more people are applying minimalist principles to their wardrobe, and I think that's fantastic. Many people outside the movement remain skeptical. They wonder why anybody would intentionally choose to wear the same outfit every day, especially when financial resources are not in question. If you've ever wondered why some successful people choose to wear the same outfit every day, or better yet, if you're considering adopting a more streamlined wardrobe for yourself, here are eight compelling reasons. Number one, less time wasted. We have no idea how much of a burden our possessions have become until we begin to remove them. But when we do, we immediately discover a new life of freedom and opportunity. It was almost 12 years ago that I first experimented with Project 333, a personal challenge of wearing only 33 articles of clothing for a period of three months. The project is simple, life-changing, and wildly beneficial. As a result of the 90-day experiment, I quickly discovered one of the greatest benefits of limiting my wardrobe, the gift of time. Getting ready in the morning became easier, quicker, and more efficient, as did putting clothes away and washing them. Number two, less stress. Matilda Call, an art director in New York, cites more time on her hands as one of her reasons for wearing the same outfit every day. But she adds another, less stress. Specifically, less stress during the day over the decision she made in the morning. She explained it this way, is this outfit too formal? Is that too out there? Is this dress too short? Almost always I choose something to wear I regretted as soon as I hit the subway. But now in her trademark silk white shirt and black trousers, she's traded anxiety for confidence. Number three, fewer decisions. Decision fatigue refers to the deteriorating quality of decisions made by an individual after a long session of decision making. For people who make significant decisions every day, the removal of even one, choosing clothes in the morning, leaves them with more mental space and better productivity throughout the rest of the day. This forms the basis for ex-president Barack Obama's limited fashion options. He said it this way, You'll see I wear only blue or gray suits. I'm trying to pare down decisions. I don't want to make decisions about what I'm eating or wearing because I have too many other decisions to make. Mark Zuckerberg, CEO of Facebook, cites similar rationale. One less frivolous decision in the morning leads to better decisions on things that really matter. Number four, less wasted energy. Christopher Nolan has created several of the most critically and commercially successful films of the early 21st century. But according to New York Times Magazine, he decided long time ago it was a waste of energy to choose anew what to wear each day. Now he settles instead for a dark jacket over a blue dress shirt with black trousers over sensible shoes to wear every day. Christopher offers an important distinction when he refers to wasted energy. Not only do large wardrobes require more decision making, they also require more maintenance, more organization, and more shuffling around. Additionally, while a capsule wardrobe may not result in less laundry, it does result in both easier laundry and storage. Number five, feeling put together. Danae Barona is a young mother in Dallas, Texas. She's also a licensed clinical social worker, therapist, author, and podcast host. Quite impressive. A number of years ago, she exchanged her full disorganized closet for a minimal wardrobe of versatile pieces she loves to wear. And she summarizes the difference like this. Pre-capsule, my wardrobe was like the Cheesecake Factory menu. It went on for days and was overwhelming. Most of my options didn't fit right, didn't look right, or I just didn't like. On the other hand, my capsule wardrobe is like a fine dining restaurant. I have fewer choices, but I can be sure all of the choices will be amazing. Not only do I look better, 
I feel better. Easy, versatile, and always put together, this is the promise and opportunity of a capsule wardrobe. And just one more reason the movement continues to grow. Number six, iconic. Alice Gregory is a writer living in New York City. Recently, her article in J. Crew magazine brought a new word into my reasoning for wearing a uniform. She called it iconic, a cheap and easy way to feel famous. She continues, a uniform can be a way of performing maturity or at least impersonating it. A uniform insinuates the sort of sober priorities that ossify with age, as well as a deliberate past of editing and improving. Brilliant. Alice goes even further in the article, pointing out that wearing the same outfit every day is a way of asserting your status as a protagonist. This is the reason why characters in picture books never change their clothes. Children, like adults, if they'd only admit it, crave continuity. Adopting the habit of wearing a uniform is not unstylish. This is a classification that no longer applies. Number seven, less expense. Our closets are full of shoes and clothes purchased but rarely worn. The average American spends $1,700 on clothes annually, which may or may not seem like a lot, until you consider that most clothing purchases are not based on need at all. In 1930, the average American woman owned nine outfits. Today, that figure is 30, one for every day of the month. Living with a capsule wardrobe or adopting an iconic uniform removes most of the waste and expense from trial and error clothing purchases. Not to mention all the time wasted shopping for items only to return later. Number eight, more peace. A number of years ago, Drew Barrymore wrote an article for Refinery29 highlighting her new stage of life and relationship with clothes. For starters, she said, I'm almost 40 and the 20s clothes don't make sense anymore. And after two babies, the 30s clothes don't fit anymore. I'm at a clothing crossroads and it's a painful one at times. To counter these feelings, Drew put herself on a closet diet, limiting her wardrobe and only buying items thoughtfully. Months later, she reported her closet was both sane and happy. Getting dressed is no longer a battle, and her fashion sense is now calmer and more peaceful. We are a society drowning in our possessions. People are looking for freedom and rescue. They are searching for new solutions. No wonder the capsule wardrobe movement continues to grow. Those who adopt minimalist principles in their wardrobe choices are discovering more productivity, less stress, less distraction, less expense, and more peace. Maybe it's time you gave it a try.